Well, hey guys, what's up? It's Faster Than Yours. Welcome back to the FTB uh, Agrarian Skies Frostfire server. What we're going to do today is go over um, smelting. Uh, I know I covered some of the smeltery stuff in the last episode, uh, but I'm going to cover it in a little bit greater detail. Um, basically because, and I'll show you real quick, try not to give anything away yet is when oh lucky running so anyway once my sieve got going it started making a ton of things um of course because it's the same stuff that you get when you sieve manually sieve 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 whatever the heck and i got so many resources um and what I've done is I've already done a little bit of work because I was trying to process some iron. And the basics of this are, and I have a servo in this item duct, which is pumping things in from here because it's being fed by the sieves. So it comes underground here, and then you can see there's another pipe down there that goes across. And then it comes up right here, and I'll show you that this item dock is only letting in these nine things. So iron, lead, and copper ore in that order. And they're whitelisted and uh, control status is disabled, signal ignored. Um, not sure about the stack size, but uh, left it at 64 anyway. Um, so stuff gets pumped in and I could go turn it on and you would see things go in. It instantly, well, it doesn't instantly, but once it smelts I guess it gets turned into um, molten metal uh, demonstrate that right here uh, you can see that this is uh, is it gonna show me I think no yes anyway you can look at this servo and this is molten iron and the molten iron is whitelisted it's on this disabled status which makes the servo uh, activate so very similar to um, what we have going on back here so instead of having a uh, oh I'm stuffed <laughs> instead of having a switch here that would turn this red and make it go <coughs> excuse me um, I have would have put I could put uh, <laughs> I could put a servo in there and get rid of the switches all together okay um, that's pretty simple and once there is enough molten um, what iron in this one it turns it into iron blocks and this one has a servo on it that's just saying pull whatever's in the basin out uh, same here uh, this guy is I believe copper and the other one's gonna be lead um, now show you something else real quick since they're being pulled out in block format, they're coming over here. Oh, uh, zombies. Anyway, they're coming over here. Uh, you can see here I have 106 um, blocks of lead, 126 blocks of copper, and 105 blocks of iron. So, you know, 9 times 105 is 945 uh ingots it's a lot so i also did a barrel upgrade you'll notice where it says 128 stacks this one says 64. um i'll probably go in the barrel upgrades in another episode maybe just to get something quick out um, but the whole point of this episode is to go over automation got a little greedy with my um smelteries and i figure the larger i make them the more stuff can go in. If you look, I can get this. It's, it's a ton of slots that here. I have no better example, but now I'm gonna go over how you set all of this up so that I can do silver, tin, and nickel here, and platinum, aluminum, and gold. Um, first thing you need is you need to make some buckets. Um, and we're gonna work on silver first. Uh, I've got all of these guys turned off. You can see that I have right clicked them with the crescent hammer and made it so that there's no output to any basin. Ooh, almost went over. 
whatsoever. And what I want is my output to be here at the faucet. Um, I have, I believe, I don't have anything in this servo. Oh, I was messing around with some copper dust blocks earlier, but there's nothing white listed there. And actually we can turn that to ignore anyway. Um, so there's nothing to go in. Now what we want to do is uh, silver first. So we come over here, find the silver. I think I need 19 of these or 18. We'll just go with 18. Hey, card joined. All right, so then I just take and shift left click and it'll put them all in. Go, go, go. And now we can look through the glass and you can see them. They're in there. Um, there's some on the bottom and then this is the next layer up. Uh, you can't see the ones on the very bottom because of uh, obvious reasons the lava's in the way. I could put another piece of glass in there and we could demonstrate this, but uh, you guys get the picture. Uh, don't jump in your smeltery when there's something in there or accidentally fall in because you will die. Uh, very important with the smeltery that you put light source on top so that nothing spawns up there and accidentally falls in because in this automated state you can get blood in your um, smeltery and it'll jam up the works because it'll just if you have things spawning it could just potentially fill all this up. Um, if you want to know some other information about how I got lava in here and how to run these item ducts and do some other things, the previous episode, um, I believe episode 8, you can check it out and got a little explanation on how all this thing works over here. But right now we're just going over the automated processes. We should be done. Look, 9 ingots. Now the purpose of that is we want to make one block of liquid thing. <laughs> liquid thing. Um, I just got restarted. So anyway, you take your bucket and after you've got the molten, uh, right click on this, and you got the molten silver, stick the bucket in the casting table and you right click on the faucet and it pours it all in there and you wait. Ta-da, come on. Yay, and now all of, oop, well, we'll get it in a minute. So maybe it's not 18, maybe it's 16. Because then only two, 16, 14 maybe? I don't know, we'll try it again. Um, and then you right click, you get your bucket out, and now you look, got a molten bucket of silver. Now we're going to put the silver over here. Uh, and the way we do this is, let's move the silver here is since there is no servo here, see it says put a pneumatic servo, you get the servo in your hand, you right click, servo is installed, and then you right click with a, uh, well, we'll right click with the crescent hammer and turn it red, uh, and see since since nothing was whitelisted, actually, you know what we can do here, is let's do this, and then we can pump it back in. See, isn't that cool, we just pumped it back in. Um, do that. Um, you right click it with an open hand. We take the bucket of molten silver. We have to click here to make it white listed. You take your crescent hammer, right click, make it red. And now the only thing that will go into this basin is molten silver because of this right here. Uh, and I, I can show you over here, just like I did just a minute ago. Molten lead, white listed, control status disabled. Right? Isn't that cool? And so um, the proper way to get all of the silver in here would be to right click on this servo. Oh, I gotta go get my silver. Where'd I put it? So you gotta have all three of those pieces of silver. So you gotta have uh, the broken silver ore the crusted silver ore and our crushed silver ore <laughs> crusted and then the pulverized uh, silver ore uh, hopefully card won't cause the server to crash I don't <clears throat> I'm not a hundred percent sure card or Raven did it or I don't know 
Very strange. Uh, anyway, so you come here, and instead of this servo accepting anything, if I put this stuff in here, it will only accept silver witch medals. <laughs> All three of these things. The broken silver ore, crushed silver ore, and then the pulverized silver ore. Now, if I come over here, so we'll go ahead and put the things that we picked up. Can I do that? There we go. Click, 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 click. All right. So what we want to do is there's so many stacks of that stuff. I want to use the servos. So i got to go up on top here. Dun, dun, dun. Which one's this over? This guy. Um, and it will process very, very fast. Uh, and let's see. We take the servo in the hand, because see there's no servo down there. Take the servo in the hand, right click, servo has been installed. Uh, and then we want to make it this. I don't think, and then right click on it and see how it just turned red. So we want to do that for, I think, I think we just process the dust first. And it, see, there goes a the stack. And now what'll happen is it'll take a minute because it's got to go around all these freaking tubes. <laughs> But it will make its way over here. Um, and it will go in there. Because right now, this thing is programmed to only accept this. Now what we also want to do is, uh, we also want to make it where it only accepts um, tin and nickel. So let me run back over here. Grab my tin and nickel. Um, that's gold. Let's see, that's tin. Platinum. That's nickel. Okay, that's gold. Nickel. Tin. Tin. And this one should be nickel. Looks a lot like gold. It's really weird. Anyway, so let's go here. Oh, you can see, yeah, see how it's processing something on every level, layer? Isn't that neat? Oh, that's bad, because that means there's a zombie in there. There's a zombie somewhere. He was in here, maybe? Uh, that means there must be spawnable area up there. Oh, no, that's not good. I'm going to have to get up there and check that out. Oh, I didn't put torches up there like a dork. <laughs> Let's fix that real quick. Same thing I was, I was just telling you guys about that. And you see what happened is the zombie... He got down in there, and he died. Uh, and there's probably something in the smeltery right now that's probably zombie-related, so I should probably get that out. Um, no? Okay, good. Nothing, nothing bad happened. Okay, so now we have tin and nickel, and so with a open hand, right-click, we can go ahead and put the tin in there and put nickel in. And now that is the only thing that this um, servo will accept at all. And uh, let's see. Yep, there comes some more. And now, so if we go over here, you can see I have one block of cell phone message. I have one block of uh, two blocks actually. See they're pumping in because they, they got pumped out of over there. Um, and now what I need to do is lock this. So now that's the only place that these um, silver blocks will go. Um, so I don't have the other blocks all set up yet because I have to make the molten forms of these guys. Um, which is going to require me do a little fanciness at this point. So let's see. Um, what would be the next one? 
10. So I'll show you guys how to do this again. Let's see. I want to get rid of all the things that I have here. Is this gold? This is nickel. Nickel, 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 nickel. Okay. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14. Let's get 16 last time and it left some in there. So let's try 14. Oh, free space. Free space. There we go. Now see the molten silver is coming out? Watch. Fills it up. Turns it into a solid block. Bam. Out the side. And now it's going over there. Isn't that cool? It's complete automation. So basically once I get all three of these smelteries configured, uh, I can start emptying out these ore, bu uh, ore barrels that I had to create and um, get a little bit better organized over here. And uh, I can just have my uh, sieving machine or multiple sieving machines uh, running just continuously. And um, another, we'll see, I'm gonna take this bucket of molten silver and put it over here. stuff these guys done yet almost uh, yeah because that's going to be the only thing in there I should be able to go ahead and put my bucket in and oh what's on the bottom tins on the bottom okay great hopefully that's enough and come on. Oh man. <sighs> Dang it. <sighs> Is that ten? So it should pump all that silver out as soon as that block goes. Yep. Now it's just tin is in there. All right. So let me click the faucet again. There we go. Now I got my bucket. Now uh, I need to open hand. Right click. No. Nope. We want to set this up over here. Now see this guy. I already put a servo in him earlier. And so all I have to do is click here. It's whitelisted. It's on. Boom. And uh, there is uh, there was some, there was an item ducked in there. <laughs> uh, custom hammer red and look. Molten tin. And if we go back here, you can see it's not in there anymore. Isn't that cool? I like that a lot. Um, this is really simple. Uh, once I got once once I just sat and studied a couple of guys who had set this process up, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so easy. So, um, looks like I need to come over here, grab me some, read the sign, nickel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no, 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 no. 16, yeah, I guess we'll go with 16 since 14 didn't work. We have to wait. Uh, I'm going to talk about some other stuff while we're waiting. Of course, the time will probably pass and I'll have to wait longer. Um, I did decide to expand a little bit. I am going to, um, maybe in the next episode, put um, the harvester and the, uh, I think it's the planter. I believe I have enough stuff at this point where I can start making those things. Um, if not, I will be prepping and then making and uh, that barrel needs to go and my half a tree um oh 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 it just finished get over there get get ah get it in
All right. So anyway, the reason that you have these three things. Um, oh yeah. So the barrel of harvester. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put some dirt over there and make it go around the thing. And somebody just messaged me. And the um, silver, tin, and nickel don't mix. Lead, iron, and copper do not mix. And uh, platinum, aluminum, and gold do not mix either. Uh, oh, he was reporting back to me as to why the server restarted. All right, oh, I need to eat. All right, so uh, is the nickel done yet? Should be pretty close, almost done. And uh, I'll go ahead and lay the bucket in the table. And you can see how many slots are available. I mean, it's a huge number of slots. Why did this guy end up down here? All right, so there's my nickel, which doesn't appear to be enough. So we'll go ahead and right-click on the faucet anyway. Maybe it is enough, seven ingots. And there we go. Did leave some in there? Yep, that's all right, because we're about to fix that problem. Now, I need one of these, one of these. I need to check my quest book too. I should have done that at the beginning. What we do is we break the table, uh, we break the faucet, and since we already got the drain there, we put this guy down here, like so. Um, and we shift right click, and we get the faucet on there. So this is the basin, casting basin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And see, it's asking me for a servo. So I right click with the servo in my hand. I get the servo there. I take the bucket of molten nickel. I whitelist it. Get the crescent hammer. Boom, boom. And molten nickel. Now, what we have to do is right click on this boy, make him red. He doesn't have a servo, so we have to put the servo in. Right click on him, do some of that. I think that's the proper thing, right? Oh, it's blacklist. There we go. Now, um, I take my table, I come over here and do this and turn that off. <laughs> turn this off because it doesn't matter. And oh, where's my faucet? So I put my faucet back on my uh, smell three drain. And I'm going to go through the whole process with the platinum, aluminum, and gold. But I'm um, not going to bore you guys with it, so I am going to be back in just a minute. Well, hey guys, uh, back, got everything done here, ready to go. Stuff's processing, got, uh, got my gold, aluminum, and platinum running through this smeltery. You can see you got some molten gold in there right now. It's uh, pretty much all I'm pumping out from over there. Um, and it's heading over here and got my silver going um ended up making some molten uh, what was it molten electrum by accident by pumping silver into that tank along with i would assume gold i think i don't know let's see uh, electrum is made with combination of silver and gold yep there we go silver and gold so yeah accident got a lot of it i'm sure i'll use it for something eventually but oh hey there we go blocks of tin lock that in all right so you know everything's running along real fine um and processing really well i'm going to build one more smeltery right here um probably two or three high and it's going to be just for me uh well i mean it's gonna be for me making things. Um, taking some of these blocks and turning them into some of the other combinations of metals. Um, and soon, once all these barrels are emptied out, um, yeah, once they're all emptied out, like I can unlock it, lock it back. And 
um, everybody's good to go, I will uh, take this junk down um, and uh, may actually move the uh, other barrel storage things somewhere else. Um, I don't really like it there. Um, I just don't. I don't know. But anyway, I want to do one thing before we head off is I want to check in the quest book, which I haven't done in quite a while. You can see I've got uh, a couple quests that I can claim. Um, got one steel powered thing I could claim. A couple other things I could claim. Let's see, go with the flow. Could claim that one. Eight quests available for completion. I mean, let's check this out. All right, so. Fungus, Among Us, no. Manual submit? Manual submit? No. Alright, back. Done this. So, let me select heart or peach. I want the bag. Claim the rewards. Yeah, just got all the freaking seared bricks, but let's see what's in the bag real quick. Oh, bees. That's good. Um, I'm going to drop those seared bricks off so I can claim some of that other stuff. Actually, let's put it here. I really don't care about the fancy junk. And we'll put your bees in there. Grab the heart. This. We can mix it. I have a half a heart. Yay. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Can I claim this? Oh, I mean, they can get casting. Can make the pickaxe casting and then get an enchanted boat. That's a weird one. Liquid slime bucket. Alright. Did this. Claim reward. Check the bag. Paper. Okay. Upstairs. Um, else I don't think I can claim any of these guys. Nope. Let's go back. Available for completion. These. Nope. I've done that one. Ah, one unclaimed reward. So I did all this earlier when I did the storage upgrade, but um, we'll go over that. And I want bag three. So I have to eat that heart. Now I finally have three lives. What's in the bag? Oh, no way. That's great. We'll check that stuff out uh, in another episode. I'll go ahead and store it here. That's freaking awesome, though. All those bags. I mean, if I was digging, what the hell are these? I mean, I guess I'd be a little bit more excited than other FTB. Um, paper. With an enchanted respiration three. Can I read this? No, I can't read it. All right, let's put you up in there. Put my three quarters of a heart in there. Anything else in the book that we can claim? That's the next thing I'm doing. The ME stuff because I want to. That's what I'll probably do. Is get all that junk over there and put it in ME. Maybe move this into ME as well. Look, more stuff. Yay! All right, let's see. What else? Can I claim any other rewards for anything? Wow, man, I made some of that stuff. And <laughs> it's like, did I really need to make a clock and a compass? <laughs> Bee domination, forest drone. That's a lot of forest drones. Okay. Oh, learning to five quests available for completion. I guess I'll uh, be doing that one next episode. Finish that stuff up because these guys I've already made 
and then I can move my way over here and pretty much complete this whole thing. <sighs> I hope. We'll see. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, this is the coolest thing I ever did. I wish I would have started doing smelteries a long time ago. Um, I don't know why. I think I was kind of scared of them because it just seemed too complicated. Very easy though. I'm sure there's some things I'm missing, but and that could make it more complicated. But uh, so far, so good. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's faster than yours. You guys have a, a great night. It's nighttime. I'm going to bed.